So there are all kinds of recipes that you can make with sourdough discard. And this is going to be the first one I'm going to show you. I might show other ones in the future if you comment and say you like this kind of content. Leave me a message down below. Maybe I'll do some other ones. So we're going to start with 227 grams of butter. I'm using my KitchenAid mixer for this. You can use a hand mixer if you've got one, just any kind of a mixer. Then you want 200 grams of granulated sugar and 200 grams of brown sugar. Then you also want 200 grams of brown sugar. Once you've got that done, go ahead and mix it up. Next, if you got chickens, you're going to add two butt nuggets. For you city folks or people that don't have chickens, that would be two large eggs. You also want to add two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Then you're going to add 170 grams of sourdough discard. There's my sourdough discard already weighed out. In we go. I'm going to take and scrape this out to get every last bit. I'll bring you right back. We are going to give this a mix. Next, we're going to do 405 grams of all-purpose flour. Next, you're going to do 6 grams of baking soda. Three grams of baking powder. Seven grams of salt. Then you want to take and whisk all this together. Don't have to be perfect. If you're using a mixer, it's going to get mixed up anyways, right? So now we're going to add our flour to the wet mixture. Give that a minute to stir up. I will usually scrape the sides down at least once. Kind of hard for me to, uh, kind of hard for me to hold this camera with one hand, <laughs> scrape the sides down. While you all can see it, just take my word for it. Now this has got raw egg in it and you probably shouldn't eat it, but guess what? I've been doing it ever since I was a little kid. Still ain't dead, even though I did get cancer. Mm, man, that's good. Next thing you wanna do is 340 grams of semi-sweet chocolate chips. Yes. 
you're going to fold that into the dough. I usually take and just lower the bowl on this then start it up and just slowly pour it in there. Then when I get it all poured in there, I raise the bowl back up. Now you'll want to take and remove your bowl. You'll want to take and get this covered in plastic and in the refrigerator. A minimum amount of time for one hour. However, I would recommend overnight because the longer that you let this cold ferment with that sourdough, the better off it's going to taste. So I usually do it for 24 hours, to be honest with you. That's kind of like where I like it at. I hate y'all are forcing me to eat this. Man, that is so good though. You have no idea. I'm going to have to cut out this part of the video. But I just can't stop eating it. <laughs> Alright, plastic wrap on this. In the refrigerator. Overnight. Sometimes I take and put a rubber band on this. Because you ever notice how plastic wrap sticks to everything except for what you want it to stick to? Isn't that crazy? I think I am going to put a rubber band on that. Sometimes that can be fun in itself to get the rubber band on there. Sometimes I get it on the first try. Sometimes it takes two or ten times. There we go. In the refrigerator we go. Tomorrow we'll bake this. Next day you're going to set your oven to 375. Preheat your oven to 375. Line a baking sheet with parchment paper. I've gotten so anymore, I pretty much make all my cookies using a cookie scoop. Then, in the oven for 10 to 12 minutes. I always set the timer for 10 and then check on them. They might have run together a little bit, but they're still going to be good when I separate them. So that's what they look like when you pull them out of the oven. I actually had to go about 16 minutes in my oven. All ovens will be different, but start checking them at 10. As soon as they start to turn golden brown on tops and the edges, they are ready.